started, I'd like to welcome everyone to the meeting this evening. First, first and only item on the agenda is discussion and possible motion to consider amending classified salary schedule for the 2013-14 school year so as to restore the hourly pay rate and have to be worked by the director of the Family Resource Center on the middle school presently located in the middle school. I'll make a motion. Can I do that? You can. Okay. I want to make a motion that the salary the position of the INS Middle School Youth Service Center reduced for last year, the 2014 school year. And the board was unaware of this reduction. Okay, I want to make that clear. We did not know it. And the reduction was not made by Mr. Meta. We just, well, I'm, I can't say I recently re learned of this reduction. Laura's been to me a number of times to tell me that the salary would be cut, and I told her to take it to Mr. Meadows and get this thing resolved. Apparently, that wasn't, that hasn't, uh, that hasn't been done. But my motion is that a question made whether the for whether proper procedures were followed by the former superintendent for the reduction of the salary. And that the board has been advised that this reduction, unless restored to its previous level, could result, result in loss of funding to our Frisky Center, which has already been done. It was done actually on November the 27th. The board's been unaware of that. We just found, about, found out about it this evening. But it has been for the next two quarters, from January through March 2014, and April through June of 2014. So we well, were non compliant, as Mr. John said. So, as a result of this, I make a motion to amend the district salary schedule so as to provide that the Youth Service Center director's position, formerly at INS Middle School, but presently located at Warfield, be awarded retroactive to July the 1st, 2013. In other words, the salary that she received at that time before reduction and that the uh, person holding that position received back pay retroactive to that, to July the 1st, 2013, to the present. That is my motion. Okay. I have a motion. I need a second. Second. Motion to second. I'd like to make one comment before we move on, before we take the vote. Uh, which you know that the person was entitled, Ms. Greg made a statement of it not only affected one person, but two people. A lot of fire for one, which I know is too late, but as far as a subsequent meeting, I think we need to uh, you know, look at that. What's fire for one person is fire for the other. I mean, when I took this, uh, this position, it's not for a few kids, it's for all kids. It's not for a few or certain employees, it's for all. So, you know, you know good about the salary cut affecting another, also another employee. So, I think uh, that should be considered for the subsequent meeting. So that's, well, that's, so that's my concern. So I, I'd like to see you know, take a good up to also. Okay, but for right now, just this position, and I'm in agreement with Roger, anybody else has been cut, I know another person was cut, but those salary was cut, I think Mr. Cornett said mm -hmm. that there was one that was substantial and the other that wasn't it. So I make a request that we restore that person's salary back to what it was. Now I have an hourly rate here, sixteen seventy-five per hour. Is, well, was that what you were paid more last year? Huh? Is that it? Okay. Was it seven point five hours per day? Okay. Then I make a motion that we restore that for two hundred forty days per year, and the person who held that position be received back pay and benefits from July the 1st, 2013 to current, to the current, uh, what was it, the present. Uh, that is my motion. Along with that, I want to make sure that this person receives a back pay no later than Friday, December the 20th. And I know you have, I know, you, I know you've got money in cold savings tax, but I've already well, checked. I'm just trying to take this for a payroll. Uh, our December the 20th payroll is already been completed, <coughs> and it's already gone to the bank on a flash time. You have to have it there a week before. Whether we get her a check. I mean, this is a person's salary. It's been withheld since since July the 1st. I want to show the board in good faith is doing what they can to honor it. I don't care how you get the money to her. 
got there and cash, whatever. And she received it no later than Friday. And that's my motion. Okay. Vote. If, if that's what I can, I can do that. Okay. But I mean, as far as I mean, uh, this is a case, um, I can do it. We can do special. Okay. Special one. Okay. okay. We have a motion second on favor and page saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Next item on the agenda is motion to adjourn. Before we adjourn, I want to say some things, okay? Uh, Mr. Mendez, I can understand that you're new to this job and I can understand as a new superintendent that maybe you may not have even faced an issue like this but you have in back uh, can I say one comment I think we can leave the motion I think we need to just leave it at that leave it at that okay well we can leave it at that okay. I agree huh I agree let's leave it at Okay. It's, 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 it's been resolved. That's whatever it is you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's no point. All right. Well, nice to know we would see you and help somebody. But, but it, would have been, it would have been nice. Let, let me just say this. We faced the fund. We faced the loss of the funding of our family resource centers and youth service centers. Bath County faced this very, very same thing. I talked to the superintendent today, and they came that close to losing funding, funding for their friskies over decisions that were made when you were in Bath County. I think not as not think, a superintendent, think, yeah, not a superintendent, but while but yeah. while you were directly we the personally. Okay, I've made my Let's point. I've on. made my point. Okay. Let's move on. Roger, I'm not it's hiding that. I'm not saying you please. are. I'm not saying you are. But I mean things can't keep me in here. If we want to move forward, Roger, it's gotta stop. Well, I had the motion. Do you have any idea what I told him? I had the yeah. Well, here's the thing. Uh, let's make a motion. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Okay. We adjourn. I'll second your motion. A motion second. I'm going to catch something now. All right. Thank you for coming.